Hi Taurus, welcome into a brief next 48 hour tarot reading for you. I hope you're doing absolutely amazing. Um, please do keep in mind as we proceed with the reading, this is meant to pertain to the next 48 for you, beginning around when you were guided or drawn to this video, not just following when I post it. Um, but things might feel a little bit weird in the next 48 for one of not multiple reasons, or at least at certain points. Um, but I don't feel like it's going to get the best of you. I feel like you're in a very motivated, accomplishing kind of mindset and way of being. Um, you're inspiring people. But I did hear the message before beginning the reading of it's a numbers game. This could be in regards to statistics, analytics. It could be um, you needing to do something in a repetitive way just to kind of see something come to be. It reminds me I'm getting specifically from me taking uh, more tables. Uh, my serving job equals more money, more progress, things adding up. But I feel like you're seeing progress in one if not multiple ways either way. I am kind of losing my breath. I feel like you're going to be very affected by energy, by your spirituality for some. Um, people's way of being is just going to make an impact on you for the better or for the worse. And so I feel like this in the energy of a situation as well. So I feel like you're just going to need to mentally, uh, uh, just mentally prepare for that. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this does affect the um, smooth uh, nature of your speaking or lack there of which, right? Stumbles coming to be at certain points. I still feel like you will achieve what you're meant to and it won't, um, at least for the most part, get the best of you. To begin from the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck for Taurus. When you feel a little bit stiff physically, okay, and energy-wise, I feel like something, again, is affecting you, um, and somebody could be going through it or feeling kind of anxious around you, or, or, excuse me, or who you're energetically connected to, so just recognize in that moment that you just kind of need to shake it off, maybe step away from who or whatever that is in the moment. Um, I'm hearing the word migrate. And I just feel like you are going to remember, and this came up in the daily I just did, something's quite literally temporary. So do not stress over um, what's at hand too much. But in the flow, overcoming obstacles and answering the call, um, everything is smooth sailing. Interesting the word smooth is in this message as well. Um, but I feel like you do something quite smoothly, even with the small stumbles and slip ups and occurrences taking place. I want to say spiritual messing with uh, for some. But I feel like you're ready to sail towards something new um, or just something different, even if that's new levels of uh, progress, um, success. It could be expansion for some, uh, but it could be a big switch up. But I feel like you're in the flow in the next 40 as far as just bouncing from migrating from one situation to the next one accomplishment to the next. Um, uh, they're saying again, quite literally just doing what you have to do when need be and potentially plus some in this working to your advantage. But I feel like there are going to be moments where you need to remind yourself not to overshare, not to over exude, because I feel like you're in the moment a lot of the time, even though you're being very methodical and strategic and um, trying to play it smarter, not harder or work smarter, not harder. But I feel like there are a couple moments at the very least where you need to remind yourself less is more. But again, you're going to be in the flow and this is going to work to your advantage in more than one way. Overcoming obstacles, talking about how you can overcome literally anything. And I feel like there's a victorious vibe about you if you look at um, that sword there. And I almost saw that as a peach. So I feel like there's that sweetness, uh, the taste of your victory, if you will. Um, sweet results taking place. Um, where you put effort in, right? Where you choose to actually buckle down and do what you have to do or want to do. You're going to see sweet results due to that. And I feel like this is going to remind you why consistency, at least to an extent, uh, works for whatever is at hand and works for you. But I feel like the work that you have to complete will feel mundane, okay? It won't feel uh, super exciting, even if you have passion for what's at hand, at least to an extent. There's going to be a sense of things being very repetitive or just kind of blah or you know and again I feel like it does tie in a little bit to how things are affecting you and I sense that this will remind you of a change you desire or just um, you wanting things to be different or wanting to be somewhere else it may point out the positives of a different situation that you're not in uh, in that specific moment but the ability to overcome obstacles is absolutely a part of the next 48 whether it's small annoyances difficulties being messed with once again um, certain uh, occurrences, problems, you've got it, okay? Everything uh, tying into it, say, 
your intuition, uh, being spiritually protected, being a smart cookie is what I'm getting, um, and trusting your intuition if I didn't say it already. Um, but as I struggle once again, answering the call, talking about how the time is now, the time, it, giving off a vibe of you having a large destiny um, for on one point, but on one hand, but I also feel like this is talking about you taking action, a very Knight of Wands, kind of Knight of Swords vibe, not uh, dilly-dallying in the next 48, and Spirit saying uh, the time is now for you to reach for more. But I also feel like you could be understanding something a bit better in the next 48 than you once did. Um, but let's move on to the tarot. You might also be gaining some clarity in regards to why something had to be cut out or maybe why it was cut out at that point or so soon. Whether it was a connection, it could have been um, uh, where you were living, uh, what you decided to embark upon. It could have been a career situation, you name it, to continue for Taurus. Okay, that was very uncomfortable. <clears throat> but we have the Justice card talking about how you are gaining justice in the next 48. Again, a very victorious vibe. When you have to overcome something, it won't uh, feel difficult, but it will feel quite large as far as the reward uh, or the rewarding vibe and feeling it gives you. I just feel like you are ready to tackle what's at hand and more so tackle what comes from a change or a switch up uh, in the future. But I feel like you're being reminded you have a lot of options, okay? You have a lot at hand to get done once again, but I feel like you are pondering, even browsing, I want to say, uh, when it comes to potential choices, whether it's you're looking at a new place to live, potentially, it could be a new car, it could be you um, browsing potential suitors online, um, you could be thinking about uh, in browsing new uh, options for work or where to um, run your business, it could be a business idea you're thinking about, uh, or potential ones, it just feels like you have a lot on your mind and a lot that you're contemplating, pondering, considering. And I just feel like you're being reminded that you need to trust your intuition now and more so in the future when it comes to your decision-making process because we don't need you choosing a toxic situation or option that you could have avoided or can avoid. Um, to continue, we have the Eight of Swords. Don't reflect too much. I feel like there's going to be a push to reflect whether it's uh, part of the spiritual messing with or it could be to assist you or a little bit of both. But it's up to you to not take it too far or to kind of bounce out of that reflection state of being so that you can come back to the present moment and again, not overdo it. Because I feel like um, it's like the whirlwind of your, of your mind, um, of your energy at times, taking a focus, uh, spirit speaking through you feeling very pulled and guided in different directions. I'm kind of getting uh, the feeling of someone calling my name at my job and um, then somebody else calling my name or just like different tables wanting me at the same time. And it's like, I wish I was Inspector Gadget at times with a, you know, a bunch of different arms, but I'm only one person. And so I feel like you need to sort of um, just take a deep breath and knock things out of the park one uh, accomplishment at a time once again but uh, don't lose that flow. The three of wands at the bottom, because I feel like you are thinking about the horizon, the distance, where you wish to sail to once again, what you wish to achieve. Can I fast forward to when I'm rich? Can I fast forward to when I'm in this new situation, when I'm connected to this person, when I have this new commitment uh, that I truly have been longing for? There's something about the future that is quite bright for you, and you need to remember this. 851, look up an angel number meaning. Um, I feel like you uh, are going to speak the truth in the next 48 and this is going to help I feel like more than one person uh, but it could be one person at a time now I feel like you do deal with certain stresses this could be wrapped up with uh, your sleep at times again your spirituality things affecting you um, it could be a toxic work environment or a toxic uh, situation as far as where you live could be family friends you name it I feel like there's more than one factor in your life that isn't making things easy for you per se, but spirit saying what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Um, and you've definitely overcome a lot of stressful factors in your life up until this point. So nothing's gonna stop you now. Um, but it really feels like at times you're thinking things could be easier, but things could be a lot harder as well. Um, they're saying don't stress, don't sweat the small stuff. At times in that sense, if need be, take a step back and look at the bigger picture because the details being too close to them, uh, focusing on the wrong things at times might feel 
um, inevitable. It just, it will help you to step back, okay? To look at things from a larger perspective, a bird's eye view, if you will. Um, I really feel like travel's on the mind, okay? Whether it's being reminded to you, pointed out, you could be thinking about uh, travel plans for some. Um, I'm hearing you're the original you. You're the original you, interesting. Uh, your unique nature and way of being and how you do what you do is coming into play. I love this energy that just came out, if I could even say it. The King of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. You're being noticed for somebody who has this sort of passionate golden vibe about them. Uh, you just do what you do once again in a very strategic and effective manner. And I feel like you are even noticed for somebody who has these imperfections but owns them and um, is reminding other people to be authentically themselves, uh, themselves, right? Um, and just to, to shine in all of your glory. Okay, interesting uh, random message there. But I feel like there's a confidence about you at times that is leaving you accomplishing more. It's leaving you shining and glowing more. And I feel like you're being reminded a shift in the right direction for you in the future is going to enhance this, okay? It's going to leave you looking and feeling uh, a lot better. But it doesn't mean it's not going to come with certain stresses, obstacles. But it's something that you're made for. And I just feel like you're being reminded that the victory, the uh, fruitful, sweet results in the next 48 is because of your effort, because of your um, path up until this point, the ups and downs, the lefts and rights, right? Um, and so I feel like, okay, you're correct, you're right. Um, you're making the right choice. But Spirit's saying that this is an X48 where you're being noticed, you're being pointed out by Spirit, by the universe, uh, potentially by somebody else. And I feel like there's justice to be acquired. And it's just going to feel like a very accomplishing, very rewarding, once again, kind of an X48, where I feel like uh, this is just a taste of what your future uh, entails. All right? So I hope this was truly helpful. Sending you so much love and light. Go enjoy your next 48, and I'll definitely see you next time.